Hello, my name is Ross Bishop. I live in Sydney, Australia. I've been building this replica 16 horsepower Fowler ploughing engine in my garage for over six years now. Engines like this were used in pairs to haul a plough back and forth across the field between them. There's about one more year to go to finish everything, but I can now demonstrate the main features using compressed air. Later it will have a fire in the boiler and will run on steam exactly like the original did in 1880. Okay, this is uh, a forwards and reverse lever, um, throttle lever, and this uh, engages the drive to the wheels and disengages. And you have to remember this lever is uh, actually up near the operator's head. It would be in a very awkward position to use on a very large engine like this. Um, uh, This is the winding drum for hauling a plough across the field. The controls for it are up here. This is the clutch to engage and disengage. This provides a fast speed and a slow speed, fast and slow. Um, the gear changes here. You can see the gear, bevel gear rising up and down. That's to change the, the speed um, to fast to slow. And down here is the clutch for the clutch to engage and disengage the drive to the drum. And also notice the pawl drops in to when the clutch is disengaged, the pawl drops in to engage the brake on the winding drum. So this is the first time we've wound the rope onto the drum and uh, testing the coiling arm out, which um, I'm about to find out if it works correctly. This is the mechanism that moves the coiling arm to guide the rope onto the drum. The planetary gears advance the cam by one tooth per revolution, raising the guide rollers by one rope thickness each turn of the drum. <laughs> 